Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm late. I, um, I know I'm super late. Sorry about that. Sorry. Uh, that, uh, who are you exactly? Spencer, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> well, as I was just going to explain to your TA, I'm actually giving a guest lecture today. So. Excuse me, where are you going? I always enter a room backwards uh, because it's part of uh, my pre-lecture magic that I do, so, so don't even worry about it. Of course, yeah, I was just worried you were leaving after you promised you were giving a lecture today. No, I wouldn't do that because I'm faithful through and through, so. I guess I can speak for all of us when I say I am oh so excited for this lecture. Haley and Olivia are in this class? This track's knowing my luck. I mean, God, you sleep with someone who isn't your girlfriend three and a half times and all of a sudden you're cursed for life. Sorry again for being late. You would not believe my morning. <laughs> there were 12 angry men outside my door and then I got in a three-car pileup. Of course. I'm sorry, what did you say you were lecturing on? Uh, the economic crisis of Canadian moose. Um, did I say economic crisis of the Canadian moose? Of course, it's a lecture that I'm teaching tonight. Uh, this lecture is about planetary physics and what it means to be here on Earth today. I guess that makes sense. I'm sorry, I just don't remember the professor saying anything about a guest lecture today. Well, apparently we must have. Who else would this guy be? You'd have to be pretty screwed up to lie about something like this. Right? You'd have to be sick in the head. And I'm not sick. The professor actually booked me, and it was very hard to fit it into my schedule. So. Well, whenever you're ready. I'll be taking notes, though. I'm sure the professor is so sad to miss a once-in-a-lifetime lecture like this. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Spencer, to you. And when we consider space, we're considering what some would call the final frontier. But I don't like to think of it like that. I like to think of it as the first frontier and the final destiny. We have our verse and a mirror. Um, excuse me, yeah. um, Dr. Uh, Spencer, you look a little young to be a doctor. Well, that's because I took all my classes super early and I did really well. This is gonna be good. Now, what you have to remember is that our universe is mirrored not only in time, but also in space, all right? There are a lot of important things about space, which is why you can't see the planets at night, okay? You can't see the planets at night because our solar system is far enough away from the solar system that is blocked by the sun. If you consider that... So, are you saying that there's other planets on the other side of our solar system? Close, but no. It, it blocks it in the sense that the other universe exists within the sun itself. Um, wouldn't that cause those planets to catch fire? No, it uh, actually wouldn't cause that. Um, but that's part of a further lecture, so just please try and keep up. Our calculations at the University of Harvard, Illinois, show that there is a mirrored universe that exists in an alternate reality from our own. Now, an alternate reality is a reality that is alternate from our own, okay? These calculations prove the existence of a mirrored reality, M equaling the mirrored verse, and of course, B being a variable for time, okay? So, in our times, we live in our universe, but in 20 years, we could exist somewhere else. Um, is this gonna be on the midterm? You know what? Yes, it, it, it is. Now, I know that this is a lot to understand. It took me years to master this theory, okay? They must think I'm insane. Whoever I'm supposed to be, they should call security on me and send me to a psych ward. How did you come up with this theory? Well, I spent years freelancing as an astronomer and geologist. How exactly does one freelance being an astronomer and a geologist? Quite simply, actually, I spent years traveling nomadically, 
uh, in the astrologist slash geologist community. Um, so I have tons of experience. I've even helped NASA on some of their projects. <clears throat> uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on astrology? <laughs> well, of course, astrology is real. Uh, I myself am a, a double Pisces, which as you all know, is the ruler of the seven suns and the galaxy. Um, I just got an email from the professor. Um, they're stuck in a three card pile up and class is canceled, so I don't know who you are, but you guys are free to go. So do you still have that lecture on the Canadian moose crisis later? No, it's Saturday, actually. Okay, so you're free to get dinner with me. Did he see that back there? Here's my number. Text me. Uh, I mean... <laughs> you know, actually, my contacts are all full. <laughs>